Good morning. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. <clears throat> this morning I'm tying a PMD soft tackle with partridge. Uh, this is a size 18. You can tie them in 14s, 16s, 18s, and smaller. This bug tends to go smaller in size as the season progresses. Uh, I'm going to tie this one in kind of a light version that's easier to fish in the surface film. Of course you can tumble this along the bottom or fish it in a traditional wet fly or soft tackle swing. But I like putting it on as a dropper behind and fishing it in the upper couple inches of the water column. Now this is a UTC 70 denier copper yellow. You want something that will flatten out to give you a nice smooth abdomen. And for a tail I'm just going to use three or four strands of wood duck and measure them so that they're about the length of the hook shank. And there's no need to crowd the bend of the hook, just stop somewhere forward of that. I'm going to make one pass of thread underneath, not too tight, but just enough to lift those tail fibers up and spread them out a little bit, or encourage them to spread out. Now for a rib, instead of wire, I'm going to use crystal flash. It gives me a couple of benefits. One is it's lighter, so it'll be easier to keep this fly higher in the water column. Number two, it'll never tarnish. So the flash you get out of it will persist through the life of the fly. Now, you can kind of see the copper showing through the thread, so I'm going to get a couple of layers of thread. And besides, I want to build a little bit of a taper. Now, I'm going to flatten this thread out so the last couple of passes of thread wraps will make the abdomen nice and smooth. Now, if you've ever ribbed on with, with crystal flash before, you know that it wants to slide on some of these threads. So I'm going to put just a tiny drop of water-based head cement on the abdomen. And by the time I get the plug back in my applicator, it's started to dry and it'll be a little bit sticky. So that when I place my rib wraps, they'll stay where I put them. There we go. Now I'm going to want a dubbing ball to help splay out my soft hackle. And in this case I'm going to use a light yellow UV ice dub. I don't need very much. That's barely a finger width. But I do want it to be tight. There we go. Now, for the partridge feather, this is a little bit of a trick, and it doesn't always work the first time, but it's one way to be economical with your partridge and let you get, most importantly, let you tie very small flies even with big partridge feathers. Now, this one I've already used the stuff out on the end, but I've got the right amount left here for a soft hackles. What I'm going to do is stroke those out until the tips are pretty close to even. And if I have more than I need, I'll peel a few of them away. And then I'm going to lay them on the top of the hook until they extend just about to the bend of the hook, back of the abdomen, whatever length you like your soft hackles. And I'm going to change hands and kind of bundle them Actually, it's not a bundle. I want them to lay kind of flat. And I'm just going to gradually tighten my thread. It's kind of like spinning deer hair. And it'll bring those hackles around. I'm keeping some thread tension here until I get this good and secure. Good sharp point on your scissors will help here. 
Now I'm going to use my whip finishing strokes to coax any of the butts towards the back. Cover that up so it's nice and smooth. And there you go. Partridge PMD Soft Hackle. I like those.